picture this. December 31st, New Year's Eve. Your hopes, your goals, your dreams, your aspirations have all been met. Everything you hoped to achieve at the beginning of the year has been achieved and has brought you to this moment of celebration. What are you wearing? <laughs> that is the question we're going to be working with today. I'm Judith Gatan. I am a master certified coach and personal stylist, founder and creator of the Style Masterclass podcast, Style Masterclass program, and the Modern Charm School. Recently, during a Modern Charm School event called Glam Camp, it was a two-day extravaganza. It was amazing. I taught a whole workshop called Future Self. During that workshop, I gave tons of practical ways to use a future self, that tool, that concept, to help you achieve your goals, your hopes, your dreams, your aspirations. Now, I'm not going to give you the full length workshop here. In fact, if you want the replay of that workshop, if you want the replay of any of the Glam Camp sessions, you're going to go to judithkatan.com forward slash modern charm school and join us. All those replays are waiting for you, including our replays of our workshops, like the goal setting palooza, which might be super helpful to you right now during this time of year or whenever you happen to be listening to this episode. So let's dive in. Why did I ask that in that particular way? Well, one of the exercises I had everyone go through during Glam Camp, the Future Self Workshop, was to imagine that they're walking their red carpet. I want to pause here. Now, each of you has a different kind of a red carpet I want to offer you. Some of us, it's like the Oscars and the Grammys, and that's how we imagine our red carpets. For some of you, the red carpet is a runway show. For some of you, it's just having a really successful meeting for your business, a really successful launch in your business, that the experiment that you've been working on at work was actually going to get funded. <laughs> for some of you, you sold that a beautiful piece of farm equipment, and you want to celebrate that. I'm using examples from my real-world clients who have myriads of backgrounds and jobs, and each of their red carpet looks a little different. So the first thing I want you to do is imagine what your red carpet would be. You've achieved some goal or some success. You've worked really hard on. The thing has been done, baby. We can celebrate it. So I want you to imagine you celebrating on whatever your proverbial red carpet is. The second thing is I want you to imagine what you would be wearing. Again, for each of my clients, it's going to be totally different. Some of them are going to be like totally rocking jeans and hoodies. They're going to be their best fitting pair of jeans and their most sumptuous hoodies with their favorite prints and sayings on it. For some of them, they're going to be wearing white lab coats in front of their colleagues. For some of them, they are going to be dressed in ball gowns and going down actual red carpets. All of them, it's going to be totally different. The cool thing is we want to celebrate that difference. My red carpet celebration is going to be totally different from yours, as it should be. Which is why I want this to be unique to you. So your red carpet, what you would be wearing. Why did I ask, what would you be wearing? Well, it's so interesting to me, especially for my clients who really want to hold on to their holy, stained, worn out, disgusting, yucky clothes. And they're like, well, nobody sees me. It doesn't matter. You see you, darling, and you matter. Even when you imagine a future event, you never imagine yourself showing up in your most raggedy, janky, stained, holy garments. The clothes you're wearing are usually the best you've got. And that's what I want to encourage you to do this year. Future self really is just a way of saying who you'd imagine you'd become. What you imagine you would think, feel, and do in a particular future scenario. The same thing we do to make decisions. We imagine an outcome, and then we make decisions based on how we imagine that outcome to be. Sometimes people balk at the idea of, well, it's imaginary, future self, it sounds so woo. Well, that's how you actually make decisions. You imagine an outcome, and then you make decisions based on that imaginary outcome. I'm asking you to do the same here for three really important reasons. Number one, I want you to get the pleasure of imagining your success so that when you go to do the hard work, the tough thing, the thing you don't really want to do, the thing you've been procrastinating on, you can conjure up that imaginary moment where you've succeeded 
as a way to help encourage you forward. Number two, it normalizes success. I typically coach high achievers, type A's, and they have a moment of success. And then imposter phenomena creeps in. And I had a whole workshop on that at Glam Camp. Sentences like, that wasn't that big a deal. I just got lucky. I'm so hashtag blessed. (laughs) And they don't take credit for all of the work that went involved. And it's almost like they're rejecting their success. Thinking about what you would imagine happening in the future and basking in that success, basking in that excitement, that joy, that pleasure, whatever emotion comes up for you and you imagine it, it normalizes it. So when the actual thing does occur, your body doesn't freak out on you like, ah, ugh, I'm not used to feeling good. Instead, it's like, oh, we've practiced this. Let's go. Third, when we imagine how we would dress, it brings it a little bit into the everyday. Because your red carpets are all going to be different. Your outfits are all going to be different. The beauty of it is you get to show up that way more often. You get to wear your best jeans every day if you'd like. You get to wear your favorite crisp white lab coat. And I know the doctors and scientists who literally have favorites. You get to wear your favorite scrubs every day. You get to wear the good stuff now. Because if you want to become the woman who, the person who achieves that goal, dream, aspiration, or success, one of the ways to bring that moment into everyday life so you can practice becoming that person on a daily basis is to wear that outfit that you'd imagine yourself wearing. Now, some of you are like, but Miss J, I imagine a ball gown. (laughs) That's not exactly apropos for my everyday gear. Well, maybe a little bit of sparkle is. Maybe doing that red carpet worthy makeup. Maybe just a bold lip to remind yourself. Maybe it could be some bobbles that you normally wouldn't bust out except for quote unquote special occasions. There's so many ways to play with this. Your glam gal mission, should you choose to accept it for New Year's style dare number one, is to imagine that red carpet moment of success. Imagine what you would be wearing and bring that outfit, those thoughts, those feelings into your everyday experience by playing with your imagination on purpose and then bringing it into real life with what you choose to wear. That's what I have for you today. If you want to get any of those replays of those workshops I talked about, like how to overcome imposter phenomena, how to have presence and command a room. Yes, we did a workshop on that and the future self workshop I keep telling you about. Join Modern Charm School judiskatan.com forward slash modern charm school. Until next time, darlings, stay tuned for New Year's Style Dare number two.